All right, what's up? Uh, this is just the example of what the final product will be of this tutorial. So please watch, rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's get started. What's up, YouTube? This week I'm going to be teaching you how to make a sick wallpaper for your computer and Cinema 4D, 3D text, some nice light effects and shadows. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need to know is that you need to download this font if you want to follow the tutorial step by step and do as I do it's called reboard and I'll put the link to the download in the description so you want to go to cinema 4d file start a new project you want to click this squiggly line down here go to text type in the text that you want see I'll just do example you can change the font to font that I was talking about, reboard. I'm doing size 12, just normal bold. Now you'll see that some of the like letters overlap each other. To fix that you can just go to horizontal spacing, change that to 18 or whatever makes it not overlap. Or let me set it up a little bit, maybe 19. There you go, 21, that looks pretty good. Or let me set it a little lower. I guess I'll just keep it at 18. But um, so the next thing you want to do is make it 3D. So you get on here, extrude nerves, and drag the text onto it. Make sure it's a down arrow like it is. And now that should make it 3D. Minimize that. Oops. And now you want to add a plane. So go here, add a plane. And I'm just going to go hold down a bunch of ones and zeros, a bunch of nines. I'm pretty sure that, that covers it. So let's see what it looks like. So right now it's just some ugly colors. You can change that by raising the text a little bit. So it's right above the plane. Now you want to go to object and change where it says movement the one on the far right change that to 80 so it'll change the like length I guess or like width well, yeah length of it change that out now you want to go control C control V or you can just go file or edit copy and then edit paste but on this one I'm gonna name it different text to that way I don't get confused between the two text texts so I want to change this caps to fillet cap Ooh, actually no not yet I'm not gonna do that yet keep it a cap and change this to 40 that way it's smaller I'm gonna go to the side of the text and with the movement tool go to the blue arrow and position that text just about right in the center if you can as you can see what I just did alright now if you look at this it won't look like you did too much so you can go to text caps fillet cap fillet cap change my radius to about 10 on both of them now you can look at it and it'll look like that so I'm gonna put my camera let's see up there more alright and now you can add some materials I'm going to add sort of blackish color you wanna drag that onto your front layer and go file, file, shader, nuki, nuki. Put that on the back layer. Render it out, and it should look something like that. So from there, you can add a light. Put it up high. Render it out. See how you like it. I'm gonna go to light down here to the down bar shadow map soft that way it adds a shadow onto the text and so that's looking pretty good now I just want to change the 
color of the text to some cool colors so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a nice little green color if I can maybe with a reflection alright I think that's looking pretty good add that onto your grayish layer back there you could check it out and so that's looking pretty good I, I'd say pretty good for what you would be doing for the first type of wallpaper so that's pretty much it so to save it you go to render render settings go to output if it's going to be a wallpaper you should make it the size of your screen which mine's just about 1280 by 720 for save you want to save it as PNG then find the folder that you want to save it in I'm just going to save it to my desktop as example wallpaper save it go to multi-pass anti-analyzing click best make sure that that's still image so you could X out of that now position this right so that you have the text on your screen the exact way that you want it see how does that look alright uh, that's looking pretty good I'm gonna change the black to a little bit darker I think it looks better when it's a dark black Let's see what that looks like alright yeah that's definitely better so I just changed the color to a darker black and now to save it just double tap on this and it'll render it out wallpapers usually take 10 seconds most so that's done you could exit out of that close out of this close out of this and here it is right here double click it to open it and so it's desktop background so that's it I got the dimensions wrong on my render settings when I did it for the height I did 720 I should have done 750 or 780 so that's why there's a black area up here there shouldn't be though on yours if you did your render settings right with your output dimensions so that's pretty much it it's pretty sweet wallpaper I'd say but from the end it's just looking pretty good change the text of it let's see I'm gonna do tech I guess I'll just change it to tech here I click on text tech and it should easily change it without a hassle so yeah it's pretty cool I'd say and you could that's pretty much it for this tutorial so rate comment subscribe